welcome to another DivHunts tutorial. In today's video, we'll discuss how to easily add text animations to your project. First, let's head over to our project settings and navigate to the Browse Plugins section. There, we'll search for a plugin named Text Animation. Once the plugin is installed, return to the Builder to begin adding animations. Simply, choose your tag, access to the Settings panel, and under the Transform dropdown, select the Text Animation option. In the plugin settings, you'll discover a variety of animation options. The first option is Direction. Here, you can pick the direction from which you'd like your text to appear. Next, we have Start Position, which allows you to select the distance from which your text appears. In the Animate field, you can specify what aspect of your text you want to animate. The Initial Delay field enables you to set a pause before your text animation begins. The Offset field determines how much your tag needs to be in the screen viewport for the animation to trigger. For the duration field, you can decide how long your animation should last, while the delay field sets the time your characters wait before starting their animation. Now that we covered these fields, let's see how they work in practice. Let's begin by changing the direction. I'll set it to down in this field. As for the start position field, I'll keep it at its current value. After hitting the save button and visiting the live site, you'll notice that my text now appears from top and moves downward, covering a distance of 30 pixels. Now, let's try setting a larger value for the start position field to see the difference. When I go back to the live site, you can see how much longer it takes for my text to travel. Let's go back and set this value to be 50 pixels and explore the animate option. In the animate field, you can choose whether to animate entire rows of words, every word individually, or even each character separately. For this tag, I will select words option. When I return to the live site, you'll see that now each word appears separately. Let's now tune the duration and delay of my animation. In this example, I'll enter some smaller values. When I visit the live site, you'll notice that my animation now operates at a faster pace. Now, if I go back and input larger values in these fields and return to the live site, you'll observe that the animation progresses much more slowly now. Each word will take a second and a half to complete its animation, with other words waiting for 500 milliseconds before they begin their animation. After we saw these fields in action, I can go back and input some smaller values here. Now, let's apply this animation to a paragraph. I'll head over to the settings and choose the text animation option in the transform field. In this example, I'll make my text appear from the left side and set the animate field to lines. When I visit the live site, you can see how my rows of words emerge from the left side. However, there's an issue with the timing as both this animation and the previous one start at the same time, which doesn't look ideal. To fix this, I'll use the initial delay field. I'll set it to 1000 milliseconds or 1 second. Now, when I check it out, my paragraph will wait for 1 second before it begins to animate. I can now fine edit this field until I find the perfect timing for my animation to trigger. For me, this delay works perfectly. With this setup completed, I can further enhance the animation by adjusting the duration, delay and start position values. Now that we cover this example, let's move on to another one. Next, I'll choose a heading in a different section and once again set the transform property to text animate. This time, in the animate field, I'll select characters option. I'll also adjust the start position value and increase the offset field to 300 pixels. Now, when I go to the live site and begin scrolling, you'll see how this animation only triggers when it comes 300 pixels into my viewport, matching the value I set in the offset field. You may also notice that each individual character animates separately, which is the magic of the animate field and the character option. Now, let's go back and speed up this animation a bit. I'll set the smaller values in the duration and delay fields because I want this animation to happen more quickly. When I check it out, you'll notice that this animation now operates at a faster pace and takes less time to complete. With this example, I can conclude this video. 
I hope that this tutorial will assist you in creating fantastic animations for your projects. Don't forget to subscribe to DivHunt for more amazing tutorials. Until the next time, happy building!